Yeah, readings of poetry and people in mourning, but this funeral wasn't for a person, it was actually for ice. Yeah, a memorial like this might seem a little dramatic for an extinct glacier, but organizers are using this to call attention to really the larger issue of climate change and the fight going along with that. Also, what is on Matt's mind today because you are very passionate about bringing attention to climate change, Matt. Yeah, and I love glaciers too because I love being on them. So uh, this is a really interesting story. Uh, Icelandic glaciologists first noticed that this uh, glacier was no longer a glacier about 10 years ago. I'm going to show you some video here of the before and after of the glacier. Now this is back in 1986. It's called the OK Glacier for short and the Icelandic name. I'm not even try to pronounce it's difficult, but you saw the before and then there was an after picture and basically what they noticed 10 years ago was that the ice was no longer thick enough to move. That means it's no longer a glacier and now the ice is completely gone. So a couple hundred Icelanders and a few other glaciologists and others interested went up and put a plaque where the glacier used to be saying a letter to the future. OK, that's the uh, name of the glacier. That's what it's known as the first Icelandic glacier to lose its status as a glacier. And now it's a basically gone. And you may have noticed at the bottom of that plaque, it actually had the CO2 concentrations uh, of our atmosphere, 415 parts per million. And they left that there as a note to future generations because some glaciologists in Iceland believe that all of their glaciers will be gone in a couple of 100 years. So they're very concerned about this as most people who live in the Arctic or subarctic regions are. That's where they're seeing the biggest changes in our climate and in our weather. And yes, there have been other small glaciers to disappear around the planet over the last 20, 30 years, but this is the first one of this size, and that's what makes it significant because this is a well known glacier in Iceland. It's storied in children's songs and things like that, so everybody knows about it. So the fact that it's now gone is significant, and it may be a bellwether that more glaciers of prominent size will also be disappearing in the decades ahead, guys. Back to you. Such a telling sign. Thanks so much, Matt.